Hey guys, Brian Haywood here. Welcome back to my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel. And today we're doing a big old review of the Bearded Pup. Um, and some people haven't heard of the Bearded Pup. Where you been? Uh, they've been around since 2015. They're celebrating five years in the business. All right, so if you haven't heard of the Bearded Pup, you should have, and you definitely need to try their products. Ron uh, is a great guy. I got to talk to him on the live stream uh, a month or so ago. Uh, just a great guy. Um, great products. I think he's out of Ohio, um, but he's been around a long time, and he's got a lot of different things to offer. He's got uh, oils and balms just now getting into the butters we'll talk about that it's got um, beard wash beard conditioner cologne spray um, shaving tools pomade for your hair uh, natural deodorants mustache wax even shampoo for your pup all right you has got some dog shampoo so lots of different things there so it's almost a one-stop shop for uh, all of your needs there all right so um had a chance to try them here and there over the past year or so um one of the first scents that i got was uh the home wrecker and i can't remember if i won this or somebody sent it to me i don't remember but uh a very nice scent and a lot of these are kind of uh, a little bit on the cologne side, uh, but the scents are not knock you down strong because I'm not a huge fan of cologne. And this was the first um, beard oil that I'd ever tried that was like a cologne scent that was like, I like this. Um, so Home Record is a very nice one of those, a nice light uh, cologne. Uh, and then that actually got me into trying out some other beard oils that were cologne uh, inspired and I've kind of warmed up to them after saying I don't like cologne for the first uh, year and a half or so. It's like I didn't even want to tr try anything that was cologne inspired. All right, uh, but I've got the Home Wrecker. I've got Scents in the Wingman, uh, Barber Pole, so Barber Shop there, the Oud, T, uh, TPB. Uh, TBP Oud, the Bearded Pup Oud. We got Suit and Tie, which is a nice cologne scent. Biker's Blend, Hippie Juice. Um, we got the uh, Natural Butter I want to talk about. Uh, and then we've got a Wash and Conditioner. And this is in the Fire and Ice scent. So that's what I've got. Um, let's go over some of the pricing on this. Uh, a lot of stuff's $18. The full one ounce oil was $18. The uh, balm is $18. Um, the three ounce beard butter whipped is $18. And I don't remember how much the uh, washing conditioner, I think I got a, a, a double pack there. So Ron sent me some stuff. I was like, I'm gonna try this wash because I, I heard it was good uh, from my friend Mo the Bearded Shark. He's done several reviews for the Bearded Pup and I wanted to try it. Uh, nice scent on this. I'm just going to talk about it while I've got it out. Uh, it's fire and ice. It's really like a, a sweet cinnamon. And this, neither one of the things I say is not like very minty and it's not very cinnamony. It's a very smooth blend of a nice kind of sweet cinnamon scent. Um, very nice. Uh, and both of these, uh, the wash and the conditioner, have uh, a base. The number one ingredient there is... Uh, organic aloe leaf juice uh, which was interesting i don't remember trying a lot of other stuff that had that for the main ingredient so instead of a water-based product and it may have water in it but uh, it's got that aloe juice uh, which means that it slides right through your beard it also almost to me feels like uh, hair um, the traditional kind of hair shampoo and hair conditioner uh, that kind of slides through your hair because it's got all those extra ingredients. This doesn't have all those extra ingredients, but I think it's the aloe that makes it slide right through. Uh, sometimes you get the natural products, especially on the conditioner, and it just like sits there in one spot and you've got to keep putting them more and working it around. Uh, so these work great. Um, so they're in the blue bottles and I can tell the difference because of the topper and like the, the labels are inverted. So that's a nice touch. There's the wash. The conditioner's got the white on top. And these are kind of a medium consistency kind of gel uh, kind of things. They're um, kind of right in the middle. So not too thin and not too thick. So very nice on the wash and condition. I highly recommend those. Um, let's talk about some of these uh, scents here. The balm that I've got, these are both uh, medium uh, consistency, medium hold on the balms, okay? 
uh, and then the oils let's see if I can read the ingredients guys I may not be able to let's see uh, pure organic blend of premium essential oils and or fragrance oils uh, and that's all I get all right so I can't remember I think he went over the blend on the um, on the live stream I was on but I don't remember off the top of my head because I know somebody asked um, don't remember what it is my apologies for that I didn't see it listed like when I pulled up the oils individually I didn't see the ingredients listed there I know he's working on uh, launching a new website I was trying to hold my review till then uh, and uh, I just couldn't wait anymore I, I wanted to go ahead and get this out but uh, when he comes out with a new website if he wants to uh, me to do another video I'll kind of scroll through everything and show you what's on there um, there might be some kind of deal or something going on with the new website launches maybe i'll have ron on here with me and he can go over a few things you can meet the owner that might be cool he was talking about possibly doing another live stream sometime so um, anyway be looking for that in the future uh, but for now um, we got the medium uh, hold on the bomb uh, the oil uh, like i said the scents aren't overly strong so kind of a, a medium uh, on the scent profiles on all of these that i found uh, and they do well in my beard. It's not instant softness, but after an hour or so, it really kind of settles in and absorbs in and it starts to feel soft the rest of the day. Um, oil itself, I'm getting about three hours with scent, but if I mix it with the, the balm, I get like the full five, six hours on that, which is plenty for me. Uh, I don't want it to be much stronger than that I've learned over the years. All right, so let's go over the scents. Uh, which one do I have pulled up first? I'm actually going to read you the profiles because he actually did a, a, a good job on uh, describing them and with, the, with the wording on it. So I want to read those to you. So the Biker's Blend, what he sent me the big full size uh, on is, uh, it says the Biker's Blend is here. It's sexy. It's leather. It's masculine. And it's a cologne type scent that will drive them wild. A hint of cedar is hidden softly under the leather. All right, and I'm not a big fan of leather. It's another one of those scents that just sits in my nose and I don't like it after a few minutes. So I haven't worn this much, but it's more, uh, it's not strong on the leather. It's more like a, a cologne with the leather in the background kind of inspiring it. Okay, so an, another uh, kind of lighter cologne. Okay, uh, let's do the home wrecker next. So the home wrecker is guaranteed to bust up relationships and cause divorces. You've been warned. It's an in-your-face cologne scent with notes of citrus, ginger, cardamom, vetiver, and amber. Just think, neck kisses with a bite at the end. Ooh, I better stop reading there. Uh, anyway, it is a nice lighter cologne as far as where it hits you in, on your nose. Um, really nice i like that a lot not the water notes to the aquatic notes it's light but not aquatic i'm not a huge fan on lots of aquatic stuff uh, but one of them has that which one has that suit and tie has that just a little bit but not enough to uh, distract the one thing i like about this is this not these cologne-ish scents are not like a takeoff of something else they're kind of newer scents um, so kind of interesting on that yeah, I really do like the suit and tie. Uh, let me read the description on that for you guys. So suit and tie has that high-end cologne smell with a clean, with clean aquatic notes that will leave them wanting more. It's sure to become a date night favorite. So you can get the aquatic notes, but for me, it's not the a dominating aquatic and that's all you get. So it's a very nice cologne scent. So lots of colognes, but it's got a lot of other stuff too. Like he's got the hippie juice, which he sent me when I bought this. He like threw in a balm and I don't have the oil to go with it. But it's that, um, the patchouli, but it's a smooth, very light patchouli, at least on the balm. Uh, so it's not gonna uh, be real earthy. These are kind of fragrances. They're not essential. So you're getting a kind of a different uh, take than you would if it was pure essentials. All right, uh, the oud, uh, I won't read that description. We know what oud is and that's what, it, what it's uh, supposed to be. And that's what it is. One of the best ouds I've smelled. It's not uh, overly strong. Uh, one way or the other. I've smelled some that smell like dirt. 
uh, and some that kind of go the other way and are, are like a cologne-ish take and it's more like a barbershop kind of scent, like powdery. Uh, this one is a nice smooth one in the middle uh, and it's not, like I said, it's not overly strong, but uh, if you mix it with the, the balm, you are getting uh, like six hours or so out of it if you mix it together, all right? Um, the barber pole, we know would be a barbershop. And it's not overly powdery either. I don't, I don't like the talcum powder scent because it kind of sits in my nose as well. So this one's smooth and it's not powdery. Um, it's similar to some others on the market, but it, it is the, the one um, barbershop scent that I actually like. Um, this one is my favorite, the Wingman. It says it's the only Wingman you'll ever need. A deep, sophisticated scent, scent with what some say are subtle hints of cherry pipe tobacco, a hint of underlying vanilla, and maybe even a snippet of homemade apple pie. Uh, so it's just kind of the cherry tobacco. But once again, it's kind of a smooth take to it. It's not in your face tobacco. Um, and it even has a background. These are all kind of similar vibe with the kind of the cologne-ish stuff in the back, at least on the ones I've tried, except for the, the hippie juice. Um, it's a little bit different. All right, uh, but they're very good scents, very good products. I highly recommend them. Uh, the wash and conditioner are great. And this is the new star of the show. Uh, this is my new number one beer butter, guys. Uh, and this one's unscented. Right now, at least the, what I saw, is just unscented and suit and tie. So uh, you got to get that website uh, updated. Uh, I think the packaging for, for a company that's been around like five years, I think, that, I think this can be improved. All right. I know he's trying to, to kind of get out there in the community a little more. So he's sending out more stuff for people to review. Um, get the website updated and then possibly i think i know he's talked about this um this is uh kind of pays homage to his uh old, old dog roxy uh he's trying to about get an updated picture uh on there for that so it can improve a little bit what i think with the packaging and the presentation and the website but uh the products are tip top all right this beer butter is whipped and i think he said uh eight different butters on here jojoba aloe vera hemp seed avocado shea mango kokum and cocoa butters uh, coconut oil fragrance and or essential oils and it's if you'll see how much i use i use this almost every day since i since i got it all right um and it's whipped but it's it and it is pretty light but it, it's still got a little bit to it I actually use it if you'll see the video i made where i i have my new uh beard uh heated brush routine i always use this right after i use the heated brush uh it kind of locks in and keeps my beard from drying out faster um, which that heat would can sometimes do great butter for night great butter for day great butter great butter great butter um and my dog agrees, my bearded pup. Uh, anyway, it comes out really easily, comes out really easily, melts right down. It is the perfect, perfect butter for me. We've got to get them in some of these other scents because I know, uh, Ron, if you get these uh, this butter in some other guy's hands and it's got the good scents to it that they like, they're really going to go after this butter. And like I said earlier, I, 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 I've started using unscented stuff a lot, especially at nighttime. And you can throw this in any time. And you can go with these other scents if you want as well. It does, it does have a little bit of the butter smell, but that's kind of uh, the natural smell that goes along with it. Uh, I love the butter, love the butter, love the butter. $18 for three ounces. We've got to get them in some of these other scents like Wingman. Uh, and send me one. I uh, have, to, have to buy that one for sure. And I'm going to have to restock on this one. If I, Like I said, I've almost exclusively gone to using this since I've got it. My number one beer butter. I don't need to make a top 10 list. There's number one. Okay. I don't know how much plainer I can be. You need to try the butter. Um, if you like the cologne scents, you can get it in the suit and tie. You can also get it unscented. And be looking for more scents coming. I know he's talked about making some, the butters and some more scents. But uh, once I told him it was my uh, how much I really like this butter, he's like, 
all that whipping whipping is paying off so I, I think it's a hassle to make but it's well worth it and I think other guys are going to fall in love with it if you can get it in their hands and get it in their beards uh, and that's what I suggest you guys do uh, make sure you're following the bearded pup be looking for that new website to drop be looking for all kinds of uh, good deals following them on Instagram and checking out my channel and Mo the Bearded Shark and some other folks that have done reviews because they all love these products um, so anyway I hope you guys uh, have a good day and thank you for watching. See ya.